No go do me Johnny O oh. I beg you do me Sarah Make I do you a rap I beg you do me Gelly O oh. Hi guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is sarah and if you are returning thank you so so much for coming back if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you've been watching my videos very well i don't know what you're doing but it would be nice if you consider subscribing to my channel because i mean i'm giving you guys this information for free i feel like this video is overdue it's way long overdue but then yeah it's better late than never the year has finally come to an end i believe that a lot of you that have been watching my videos have been taking inspiration from me a lot of you have told me that i've inspired you to start a business i've inspired you to want to start a business and oh my god like that is the best feedback i've been getting from these videos i've been making that's the goal honestly that's that's the goal that's my goal to just inspire a lot of you guys and help you guys out in ways that I can and I'm really excited that I can finally make this video because something about me is that if I want to go for something or if I want to do something I would do my research till I don't see any more videos about it so I just feel like I'm very excited that I can finally make um, my own take on this I'll give you guys like my own version of this if that makes sense yeah everything i'm going to be saying is going to be from my own experience i haven't watched any other videos like for inspiration or anything before i made this video i'm just telling you guys what has worked for me and tips that i can give you guys i'm also going to make a video on mistakes that i made when i was starting my business and mistakes i think you guys should avoid or rather i know you guys should avoid let's get right into this video I don't know what I'm going to title this video but then basically in today's video I'm going to tell you guys how I was able to grow my business and how you also can grow your business and how you can increase your sales even though you haven't started your business like this is a very good video for you to watch to just help you to know things that you should do when you're starting your business things that can help you to increase your sales so when I was starting my business this is one of the videos that I was searching a lot for how to increase your sales how to promote your business how to make your name out there and all of that like I know that I watched a whole lot of these videos when I was starting my business and I'm so glad that I did because it helped me to know I wouldn't say everything I did was just based off of my own knowledge or anything no I watched a lot of videos and I did a lot of research I was watching a lot of people that had succeeded in business people that have done well in business and I was trying to I wouldn't say copy but trying to like imitate what they did and yeah this video I'm mainly going to be focusing on one of my businesses if you guys don't know I have two businesses and I'm going to be focusing on one of the businesses so one thing I just want you guys to know is that I feel like everything that I'm going to say um, are tips that you can use but then honestly I feel like what has really really helped me in my business is how much there is demand for what I sell and I'm so grateful to God but then another thing is that is honestly and solely just the grace of God like I can't give myself credit for anything I feel like the only person that can give credit for everything is God I just feel like it's just grace of God that is on me honestly like everything else I can I can literally do everything else but then when I don't have the grace of God like it's not going to work so I just want to put that out there like it's not by my own power <laughs> that I have been able to do everything that I did so yeah and I feel like another thing is that you can't sit down and be waiting for the grace of God to work upon your business when you're not like putting in the work and all of that so yeah so I just wanted to put that out there come up with a couple of um, tips to follow to help increase your sales and to grow your business and all of that so I'm going to put a picture here everything that you're seeing here is a result of one week sales yes one week sales and I'm just going to tell you guys everything I did to help me grow this business and to help me get this results that I got in one week in just one week I wanted to make this video before Black Friday like just to help you guys know what to do when you're preparing for Black Friday but then unfortunately that wasn't possible because Black Friday sale was just one day sale but then like I'm just going to try and be more realistic with you guys like you can't you can't really just work for just one day so this was the result of one week sales and I did stop selling after one week the first thing is that I was consistent so consistency is what is going to help you grow in everything basically I feel like a lot of people say consistency consistency when you're talking about how to grow your YouTube channel people say consistency how to do whatever people are always saying consistency but then I feel like it is not overrated consistency is so important I've gotten a couple of comments from people telling me oh I want to give up on my business because I'm not doing well blah 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 I feel like you you never you never really know when your business is going to take off or when this is going to happen or that is going to happen some of my businesses might not be doing well but then honestly I feel like that's not an excuse to give up on the business because you never know like consistency 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 
this is like the main thing I'm going to tell you guys so every other thing that I'm going to say you need to apply consistency in it I'm going to talk about promotion you need to be um, consistent in promotion quality over quantity you need to be consistent in the kind of quality that you produce so yeah we're going to go on to that so the first and the main thing is consistency like you just need to be consistent in everything you do the second thing that really helped me promotion social media is basically free like social media is free you don't need to pay to be on instagram you don't need to pay to be on facebook you don't need to pay to be on twitter it is basically free. I personally try to post at least three times a day. Sometimes there are days I post at least six times a day. I'm not even joking, but then I try to post as much as I can. And just to remind people that, yo, I'm here, I'm relevant, and you need to buy my stuff. There's a brand, there's a Nigerian brand that's always wanted to try and all, but then I feel like it's because of their promotion that literally forced me to buy their stuff. You guys, their ads were literally always, always popping on my feed. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy these brushes. And I, I'm not even joking. Once I bought it, the ads stopped pop, popping on my feed. But promoting your business is so important. Don't ever think that enough people have seen your page or enough people have seen your business or you've posted enough and nobody wants to buy. No, no, let me tell you something. There are over how many? 7 billion? Is it 7 billion or how many? I don't know. There are so many people in this world. And not everybody has seen your post not everybody has seen your business not everybody knows about your business so promote like nobody knows about your business so yeah when i say post i post at least three times a day it doesn't have to be on your feed because sometimes like you've already posted this thing and you basically have nothing else to post i feel like just reminding people maybe reposting on your story or something um that's going to help very well and just reminding people that you're there another one is to run ads i've gotten lots of questions on how i run ads what card i use i use my nigerian card to run ads my nigerian bank card to run ads but then gt bank particularly doesn't work i don't know why my gt bank naira card doesn't work for ads i don't know so i use like other banks i believe every bank every other bank apart from gt bank doesn't work but then my gt bank dollar card works for my ad got in that question that's why i just thought i should put that out there so I, I use my nigerian cards to run ads i don't know about gt bank even sometimes when you're trying to order stuff online or pay for something online gt bank cards don't work like your master card visa cards work i have a visa card so and the visa card works but then my my master card doesn't work so yeah i just thought i should put that out there you might try it but you own my work but then i've used a couple of gt bank mastercards and they didn't work any other bank i feel is fine i've used zenith bank i've used uba and they were all okay so yeah um, and about running ads you guys there are thousands of tutorials on how to run instagram ads there are nigerians that post on how to run instagram ads so you can just google it and i feel like it's even self-explanatory so you don't need to really just make sure your account is in a business account when it comes to running ads i personally allow instagram to like pick the automatic people location and all of that for me but then i just try to specify that i want only nigerians to see it because my business is like i i I mainly want Nigerians to see because I'm not trying to target people outside or trying to target people anywhere else for this particular business. So you can run ads for as low as I think 500 naira. Yeah, I think it goes down to even 500 naira. So it's not very expensive. It just depends on the number of people you want to see and how long you want that ad to be for. Yeah, and another thing when it comes to Instagram promotion is hashtags. If you're selling cameras, put and you're in Abuja, let's say, put hashtag camera, camera vendor, hashtag cameras in Abuja, camera seller in Abuja, camera vendor in Abuja. I don't know. Like just look 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 at people that are doing something that's similar to what you're doing and copy their hashtags basically yeah so when somebody is looking for like me personally if I'm looking for something in a particular area, the first thing I check are hashtag tags. Hashtags work. There's something I've heard something about shadow ban. What was it? I don't know. I really don't know about that thing. I can't say. But then, yeah, using a hashtag. And from your insights, you can see I've seen that a couple of people found me through hashtags. It's promote, promote, promote. Instagram sponsor me. I'm talking about your ads. <laughs> yeah, but I, for me personally, Instagram ads have worked for me. Yeah, I get the most sales when I run Instagram ads. Yeah, I get the most sales when I run Instagram ads. So I've had a couple of people like it may not work for you and people people ask like what do you do specially that makes Instagram ads work for you honestly I don't do anything specially I feel like it's just what I sell that people want and Instagram me allowing Instagram pick people automatically for me I feel like Instagram has actually picked like the correct people to see my posts and they actually want my stuff so they come to me point is to follow trends so when I say follow trends um what do I mean by following trends so 
let's say you're sending hair like I, I'm going to give the same example that I gave in my last video let's say you're sending hair and you normally sell just synthetic weaves and all of that and then all of a sudden you see that wigs are now like hot wigs are now what's selling wigs are what everybody wants and they don't want bundles again for example or they don't want synthetic hair again now let's say it's human hair that everybody wants human hair is what's selling human hair is what's hot you really don't want to stay in selling synthetic hair because except like you have a good market or something or your synthetic hair is not really like synthetic hair or whatever or like you have value or, or rather you create value or whatever whatever is selling the most at least in your industry i think you should like try to go into that market that way you attract more sales for yourself so um i feel like this is where creating a good relationship with your vendor comes in um, i'll give example with me so with what i do like almost every month there's something new almost every month let me say like twice a month there's always something new there's some always something trendy you know always something that is a bestseller sometimes you don't even have to ask your vendor will tell you oh this is currently my bestseller this is what a lot of people are coming to ask me for so i think you should get that thing and then when you go and when i go and buy that thing it has all it always happens to me always always like i've never been disappointed every time i go and i buy that particular thing i sell out because that's what people want so i feel like sometimes even if your vendor isn't telling you like try and talk to your vendor and find out oh what is new is there any new kind of wig is there any new kind of hair is there any new kind of lace for example so like now i know that headband wigs are trending so if you were doing hair i would suggest like going to start set headband wigs the next point i want to give is good customer service like i don't know how many times i don't know how many oh my god your customer service is so nice you're so nice or you talk to people so nicely i'm, I'm going to keep buying from you because you're so nice you're so understanding i get yes i get i get that a lot i'm not trying to praise myself or anything i'm actually a nice person but that is just like my own that is like another business strategy being nice to people i'm not saying take nonsense honestly because some people can be very rude and extremely rude because they just think you're just a seller somebody that is lower than them and i feel like just keep that thing in your head that customer is always right customer is always right like no matter what they say just act like a fool like just be a fool for that moment so you're not a fool but like just be a fool for that moment you understand good customer service um checking back on your customers oh have you received your products what do you think do you like it are you satisfied um, maybe two days later if you have the time try and find out oh how is this product are you enjoying the okay i'll use hair as example are you enjoying the hair is it shedding is it tangling do you like the hair yeah check up on your customers sometimes to find out how they are enjoying the products and that can even help you get reviews yeah i'll get to that will help customers to keep coming back to you yeah it will help customers to keep coming back to you some customers are going to ask you so many questions but like i feel like sometimes you just need to be patient and just answer all their questions just because some people are very mindful of how they spend their money so they want to know what they are spending their money on and to make sure that they are getting exactly what like they are paying for so sometimes you just need to understand and another thing you need to understand is that some people have gotten scammed on for example if you're selling online i'm i'm mainly focusing on people selling online for example if you're selling online a lot of people have gotten scammed from sellers online so sometimes some people will be asking you excess, excess questions asking you to send them a video asking you but you just need to understand that some people have had bad experiences with other vendors so they just need to confirm that they're not getting scammed or anything like that the next point is posting your reviews this is where like you being nice comes in so you need to ask your customer oh do you like this product how is it so far do you like it and once your customer like should give you a review just posting the review of what other people said or what other people have said will help you like build your trust it will help other people to trust you more and help other people to know that oh you're legit oh you're not fake what you're selling is real and you don't scam people so posting reviews build people's trust for you basically yeah another thing is that if your product is good like sometimes some people straight up once they receive they're like oh my god i love it so much it is nice blah blah, blah. take a screenshot of that and post it on your page sometimes some people don't want you to put their identity so you just need to like crop it sometimes and post it and tell people oh so this is our feedback or oh, come and buy from us we're legit we're not fake <laughs> yeah do promos not ads promos so what i mean by promos is Sometimes you do free shipping Friday, 10% um, off Tuesday, 
20% off thir um, Thursday here. Um, let's say if Christmas is coming, you say, oh, we're having Christmas sales. If New Year's, New Year is coming, oh, New Year's sales. Like, just take advantage of all those little, little celebrations to do sales. But another thing about sales is that don't don't overdo the sales or don't do the sales in a way you lose so i'll give an example i'm going to give an example with this brush i like to give examples like just so you guys understand so let's say i buy this brush 500 naira yeah i buy this brush 500 naira and i sell it for let me just give you guys one rule you always want to make sure that your profit is never less than 40 percent you get so if you're buying this brush 500 naira you want to sell it for maybe 1000 <laughs> Maybe 1,000 naira, that way your profit is 50% profit, right? Is it 100%? A 50% profit is 750. 100% profit is 1,000. Guys, my math is so bad. <laughs> but then, yeah, so you just always want to make sure that your profit is ne never less than 40%. So that's just one rule of business. So as I was saying, even when you calculate everything, your shipping and everything, just make sure your profit isn't less than 40%. Yeah, except you're selling something that you can just easily access somewhere. Yeah, so let's say I buy this brush for 500 Naira and I'm selling it for 1,500 Naira. So my profit is basically 1,000 Naira. So if I want to do sales, I'll say, oh, you can get 10% off. That's 150 off, right? So 150, yeah. So that's 150 off. I'm really not losing, do you understand? Like, I still have my gain, I still have my gain, even if I remove 150. Even if you say 20% off, that's 300 off, and I'm selling it for one, two. I'm still gaining, because I bought it for 500 now, do you understand? So you always want to do your sales in a way that you don't lose too much. <laughs> You don't want to go and lose. You don't want to go and say, oh, 50% um, off. And so, yeah, you always want to do your sales in a way that you don't really lose. But then one thing with people is that people like free stuff. Anything discount, anything um, promo, anything, they like it, they love it. But then you have to be wise while you're doing it. You make sure you're not losing too much or you're not even losing at all. Quite a number of other vendors are more expensive than me because I feel like I've hacked the... Um, I've hacked the way to get stuff for i won't say really cheap but then quite cheap in a way that i can make my prices cheap too so my stuff are kind of way 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 cheap compared to other vendors because like i feel like other people buy from america uk all these places but me i'm buying from china and it's still quality do you understand and these people that you're buying for from in america and UK, they are buying from China, they are buying from China, so they are buying from China, taking it to US, UK, and then they'll bring it back to Nigeria, but then you can literally buy from China straight up, so yeah, let me not divert too much, but then yes, when it comes to free shipping, um, how not to lose when it comes to free shipping is, just take your time and do your calculation, so you want to say, um, don't just say, oh, today is free shipping. No, don't just go there. Because somebody can come and literally buy something. Or let's say somebody should buy this comb from you for 1,500 and shipping is 2,500. What have you done? <laughs> like, <laughs> what, what have you really done? You've just lost. You've lost a lot of money. And you just you just paid two five for nothing. So you want to say maybe free shipping on all orders over ten k, or free shipping on all orders over fifteen k, or something like that. So you just want to be wise while you're doing it. So if you do free shipping on all all orders, say over ten k, maybe you can equate that to maybe twenty percent off. I don't know if if it's making sense. Just do the math yourself and understand. So yeah. Doing that will attract people because Nigerians especially love free things. They love free shipping. Me, I don't even like to pay for shipping. So any opportunity, once I see free shipping, like I'm going for it, that one particularly, or discount. Everybody loves discount. Everybody loves like, you know now, yeah. So except you're doing like clearance sales or let's say you have different brushes and maybe the white one of this brush doesn't sell, that's when I can say you bring it down to just to get rid of it so that next time you know that you're not buying white again, you're only going to buy like the colors that are selling, do you understand? Like that's like a clearance sale, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In my next point is to always go for quality over quantity. I'm, always, I'm going to keep saying this quality over quantity quality over quantity one thing with nigerians that i've noticed is that most times nigerian vendors or nigerian sellers always go for the lowest quality and i feel like that's that's what is kind of killing us no that's i feel like that's like 
that's like a bad reputation that we have in China. For example, let me give you. If you go to like a place in China or you're trying to buy from a vendor in China, and most things in China, most things, I'll give example with like shoes. Shoes have, some shoes can have up to six grades or six qualities. Even hair, like there are a lot of grades when it comes to all these things. And once you just say, I'm in Nigeria, and they'll say, oh, okay, this is the lowest grade, this is what we have. Because you know Nigerians are going for the cheap ones. But Nigerians will sell for the price of the highest quality ones. So yeah, I'm just giving an example. Sometimes, just say you're from Canada or US or UK, that's just a tip. Don't say you're from Nigeria, if not, they'll point you to the <laughs> lowest grade one. Anyway, um, going for quality over quantity is like, except you want to sell low quality stuff, but I feel like with me too, that's one thing that has really, really, really um, helped my business to grow. Yeah, because I'm not comparing myself to anybody, but like with the other vendors that, um, sell what i sell they sell like the lower quality one but let me give you an example with just one thing let's say this particular item is like the low quality but they are selling it for 10k and me i have the higher quality guys the highest quality and i'm selling my highest quality one for 8k let's say i bought my highest quality one for like 4k but i'm selling it 8k they bought their lowest quality one for like 2k but they're selling like 10k do you understand so i feel like I've had people that told me, oh, I bought from this vendor and it is, it feels very cheap and it is this, but then I bought from, and it is more expensive than your own, but then I bought from your own and your own is a better quality than this vendor's own. But your own is cheaper. Do you understand? Like people will always find out, people will always know and will tell their friends and start referring people to you. So word of mouth. So I just feel like trying to just, and don't start with high quality and then go down because you know, you're trying to save costs. No, just maintain that quality that you're selling, good quality. Yeah. So quality over quantity. And even not even for people to keep calling coming back to you, just for that your brand name. Yeah, just for your brand name to be here and not here. Yeah. One point I just want to state is that when it comes to having good and nice customer service, I feel like at the same time, you should always create a boundary. Like, don't be too friendly with your vendor, with your customer rather. Don't be too friendly with your customer because that can cause disrespect and they might be saying, oh, uh, give me discounts now. Uh, would you not reduce the money? Me is only, let's say you say 15K, they'll tell you, oh, me is only 12K I have. Your prices are fixed. People can't bargain with you. Like, my price is my price. Take it or leave it. But these are the points that I have for you guys for growing your business and all of that. I don't know if I haven't included anything. Honestly, if I haven't included anything, I will like literally make a list in the comment section below. And if you guys have any questions for me, please make sure you ask in the comment section below. A lot of you come to my DMs. I appreciate that and I appreciate your very nice comments but like you need to understand that sometimes I don't really have time to answer everybody because but then please I always always make time to respond to my comments I always make time to respond to my comments so there's no way I read all my comments so there's no way you say like I missed your question or anything no I always mean if I don't reply just know that I have a video on that so you should probably go and check for a video on that and all of that and I have a video on how to get like trusted vendors if you're trying to get vendors a big announcement I want to make is I am currently working on a personal shopper page what this is for basically is that um, me and my team will help you source for so anything you're looking for anything you're trying to sell will help you source for it because even even with that video i've made a lot of people still don't understand chinese and some people don't know how to like find the vendors even with the video i've made and honestly if i'm going to be honest with you when you speak chinese to these people you get your stuff for way cheaper and i understand that like not everybody can speak chinese or not everybody can use a translation app or any of that so we're here to make the work easier for you so we're going to help you source for the items that you want um, we're going to help you source for the items you want we're going to help you buy the items we're going to help you communicate with the vendor we're going to help you buy the items we're going to help you bring the items to Nigeria or wherever you are if you're in Ghana we'll help you transport the items to Ghana if you're in Kenya wherever you are we're going to help you do all of that and it's for a very very small fee that's like our own fee <clears throat> if I tell you guys the fee you you feel like it's unbelievable you guys won't even believe it but then yeah 
we're be I'm basically working on that like it's going to be for a very small fee because you guys are my subscribers and you guys basically pay me by subscribing and watching my videos so that's why I'm making the fee really really small thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think about this video leave a comment below and make sure you subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Ra, 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 ra,